body bags were horror lies. Hello and welcome to Body Bags. My name is James and I'm your Sunday Night Reviewer and this evening I want to bring you a review of the 2011 Steven Soderbergh movie Contagion about a global pandemic. A virus that is ravaging through the planet and infecting billions of people and killing millions of people. Um, obviously there's very eerie um parallels to what has happened with everyone today uh some of the stuff it's it's kind of so strange like some of the stuff within this movie it's like as it happened it's kind of like the same things happened and the same consequence of the actions of people that led to situations it's like we have that they, they, they all of this kind of like came true more or less that there are differences but it's um very interesting movie i will say from the start like the, the one thing that was very different is like um i think something that would be different within this movie now is the really focusing on the lockdown situations of people locked down in their homes they are in this and it does touch on that but i think that is the one of the biggest takeouts that um covid what what happened with all that it's one of the major things that is uh, like that people talk about still and remember still and that was one of the hardest things that people were going through was the lockdown in your homes so that that's something i think would be more apparent within this movie but anyway um yeah we have quite an all-star cast for this one there's like kate winslet matt damon jude law uh gwyneth paltrow um uh, but, but, but. Oh, I had to look quickly. He's got Lawrence Fishburne went out my head then. Yeah, yeah, it's got quite a, a cast for this one. And basically, we, like Gwyneth Paltrow, we're following her, and she's over in. Uh, I forgot where she is. Hong Kong? She's over in Asia somewhere. Uh, business trip, and she gets sick, comes back home and dies and inadvertently starts spreading a virus they kind of flu that she got and it spreads around and gets quicker and quicker becomes more deadly and yeah it's it's a, <clears throat> like i said many many interesting parallels um it's it's kind of interesting how it all works you have like people starting to realize well this is very serious there's like this death that's happened there's more and more people getting sick there's an autopsy done and they freak out because of the findings within the autopsy and then it's escalated it grows bigger it grows to like um the local area the town the city and then it grows to the state and then the country and then the globe of like how they're trying to control this. They have Lawrence Fishburne's character. He's kind of like trying to be in control. Like he's the, he's the person that's making all the calls. He's like, <laughs> has this huge team of people. He's like locking down different areas. He's delegating them to get jobs. Like they need to basically find warehouses or gyms that can hold the sick people because the hospitals can't fit them all in which almost became a very very real case and some areas it was real but hospitals were overflowing um yeah so yeah he, he's kind of like that character he's got uh, kate winslet working for him she's like a very they're very personable characters of caring about the people and then others that they're coming across it's like um some of the locals are like it's it's kind of really interesting that they're like worried well, how's going to pay for this where's the budget for this coming from it's like really valid things that you kind of like don't think about you know, like the cost situation with all this stuff which is very weird to say global pandemic everything is just given and everything is free it's like no that doesn't happen 
It's like you're going to hire a gym out, you're going to hire a warehouse out, you have to pay for that. Who's going to buy all the blankets? Who's going to get all the medicine? Blah, blah, blah. All the nurses, the nurses getting sick, so they have to get temp nurses in, so they have to pay agencies for that. It's the world still went around, but spending more money during a pandemic. And you might think that that doesn't happen, but more and more money was spent. And uh, yeah, it's kind of echoed within this. Uh, but yeah, it, it's like I said, it's really interesting. Um, <coughs> there's a few like issues of bits and pieces, of course. Like, I thought Matt Damon like, like, was pretty good, has his daughter, but um, at one point his his son dies and there isn't really much emotional outpouring towards that, which from my point of view would be fucking devastating. And it's kind of brushed over very quickly. But I guess that happens in movies. It's like he can't have a kind of main kind of protagonist you can kind of call him being depressed and sat there the whole movie doesn't work does it so i kind of understand like how it, how that kind of was but yeah it's really interesting you get all these conspiracy theorists which is like jude law's kind of um character he's kind of was it this ah oh, this medicine uh, for Scythia, that he believes will um is the cure that all the big pharmaceuticals, the pharma tech, that they're all lying. It's looking like it's some sort of placebo effect thing. It's like, this is the real cure. They're making all this up. And then it's like looking at the ethical side of things, you have different people. It's like, well, it's like how things with COVID, it's like, yes, we're trying to find a cure. We get a cure. It's like, wow. Yeah, but it takes months and months of the human testing. Like, there's not time. We've got testing loads of animals. Before we get to human testing, yeah, there's no time. And it's like these things get rushed through and then you have the questions is like, what's the long-term effects on these um, vaccinations? Does it cause cancer? Does it cause fits and seizures? Like what, like, it's kind of like echoing very much, but foreshadowing how the global situation is and was literally 10 years after that movie came out. So very, very interesting. Uh, like, like I said, like many of it, many of it hit, hit the mark just, just as it's kind of like watch that film, a bit of research to what's happening in the, in the world. But um, yeah, I, I, I was like really, in, I, I always like this movie, but of course I was invested even more now. And it's kind of like, you're kind of watching it for running parallels as to what you went through and what other people you know went, went through and what you read about and what you saw and it's like well, how did it how did it pan across it's like it was eerily eerily freaky and then they have all these different like side parts of like uh, kidnapping and extortion but like extortion for the point of like getting medicine for like poor villages that have children that they can't afford it and then in interesting things going on all the time all the time throughout this movie and um on the whole yeah, i thought this was a fantastically acted movie it was like you're really with these characters uh they're, they're all within different levels and you can all connect to different people in different ways and some some people will like connect with the jude law conspiracy theorist like um character some people connect with matt damon like the, the the parent, others with like kind of like a hero kind of thing, like with Lawrence Fishburne's character and Kate Kate Winslet. But it's 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 a movie that I think everyone can appreciate because it's it's one of those which everyone has a connection to. No one missed our global pandemic of Corona with the COVID virus. No one missed that. So it's an interesting parallel, and it's a very interesting watch. And I can imagine it would have some emotional implications for some people like hey, they've lost family and friends so this could be a hard watch for them an emotional watch but i think it, it's it's handled and put together really well and it's kind of if you didn't know it's like you could say that this movie was made after covid you would not necessarily realize that it's made like 10 years before because of how eerily close it is but anyway, that's the end of the review. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll catch you next week. Thank you. Bye-bye.